Hello and welcome to the latest episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with your friends at Peppermint Narwhal. In this video series, we teach you how to draw animals in a fun and simple way while sharing animal facts as we go. So we're going to take a look at the animal we're going to be drawing today. And we selected the Togo Toucan. The Togo Toucan is the world's largest toucan, and you see we've illustrated that here. And we again have its common name. Below that you'll see in the parentheses a scientific name. Uh, that has a fun scientific name. It's Ranfastos Toco, which essentially translates into long sword nose. So you can clearly see how it got that uh, fun name. Below that, we have a nice status, least concern, and that's great because that means that it's least concern for extinction, as, at least as the time of the recording of this video. And that comes from the IUCN's Red List of Threatened Species. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I'll get this guy out of the way, and you'll see I just have my blank piece of paper here and a pencil that's going to be my drawing tools of choice but again you're free to use what you prefer we're going to jump in and get started by drawing a simple straight line just a little bit to the right of center and a little bit higher up on the paper so there's my nice straight line there we go and that's going to give me a good starting point for building the back of the head here so i'm going to put a point here on the top of this and if you're on some previous videos, you'll know where I'm going with this. Uh, I'm going to make uh, my own little dot-to-dot -dot training technique here for your drawing. And two dots I usually use for a straight line. When I'm doing three dots, that's going to indicate a curve. So I want a nice but gradual curve for the back of the head here. So there's my three dots, my starting point, middle point, end point. This is going to be the arch of the curve. And I'm just going to kind of connect the dots using my curving line technique. So there we go got those dots connected and I've got the back of the head essentially ready to go. Now I'm going to start on going the other direction and build this really long uh, bill that we're going to have for the Toco Toucan. So this dot is going to serve as an important one and then I'm going to go pretty pretty far out here uh, almost like a straight line there and then it's going to start to really let's just do that let's start with that straight line and we've got a nice two dots there let's just get that long extension on this upper part of the bill and now we're going to make a gradual sort of sweeping curve down here from this so I'll put a point out here we're going to use that last point we left off with and then a point down there and I'm going to just connect those nicely now just rounding them off there in that nice curving technique so that's going to give us that really long uh, top of the bill there so I'm just going to add a little bit of an under tip there just a little point almost like a v-shape down there and then I'm going to kind of, from that point, I'm just going to put a dot here. And then I'm going to put maybe a dot on this end bottom line here. And I'm just going to connect those two dots in a nice straight line. And that's going to give me this upper part of the bill. And that little V-shape gives us a nice little rounding tip to that. From that rounding tip now, we've got this top part of the bill. One of the distinct characteristics of the Togo Toucan is it has a sort of very dark black sort of tip uh, on the very tip of the bill. So to do that, we're going to put a dot maybe right about here uh, on the bottom of the bill. Put a dot maybe right about there for that arch and then maybe a dot on that part of the bill. And we'll just kind of connect those two in a nice curving shape there. And that's dark. As I said, it's going to be like a very black color. The overall bill is sort of you know, very nice, orange, rich orange, but this has a really dark black tip there on the top. So that's pretty good. We've got that now. We're going to start to continue this bottom of the bill. And to do that, we're going to put a dot down here that we already have. And we're going to extend just another dot down, not too far. It's much shorter bottom bill than the top bill and make a simple straight line there. That looks pretty good. Now, again, this is a pretty long shape, uh, long straight line. So we're going to maybe just write earlier before this sort of black markings, we'll put a dot out there and then make a straight line to connect those nicely. So there we go. Okay, that's a nice uh, bottom part of the bill almost done. Now we're just gonna curve that up. Uh, you can add your dots here if you need to, maybe a dot out there, a dot over here, uh, or you could just sort of, it's a short little space, so you're just basically making a nice curved edge. It has a little bit of an overbite on the top of the bill. Uh, again, this is a very large beak or bill here. We can see that uh, clearly from the back of the head proportionately. And when we draw the body, you'll really see it stand out. They have the largest uh, bill or beak proportionately to any other bird. All right, that's looking pretty good. We're going to go back to this straight line here. And we're just going to use this dot here. And we'll put a dot maybe 
right up here and another dot for the curve of that. And we're just gonna make a nice little smile here. We're basically making a happy animal, happy uh, Toco Toucan. And I'm gonna put that other little dimple smile there to kind of indicate that. So now we've got the mouth and the bill all connected there and done. We're going to put an eye on this guy. And to do that, I'm just gonna make a nice sort of circle here. There we go. And inside of that circle, now I'm gonna draw another circle. So I'm gonna leave a little bit of that outer circle there and put in a smaller circle in the inside. And in this inside circle, I'm gonna color that one in because that's gonna be the actual black of the eye. This outer circle actually becomes, if you were coloring this, it would have a nice sort of bluish, uh, bright bluish color around the eye. So I'm gonna color in my center of the eye there and I'm gonna make it all black. So just color it in with my pencil, leaving a little bit of a white of the paper for a nice highlight there. There we go. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, now this actually, uh, the the top of the, around the top of the head here would have this sort of nice orangish pat, patch. So I'm just gonna kind of make that a nice sort of curve around that that connects to the mouth. And this would all be sort of nice orange, rich orange uh, from the toucan. Okay, that looks pretty good. We're going to now shift to uh, put a couple little details on the bill and then jump onto the body here. So for the bill, there's a straight line up here at the top. So we'll just make two dots just off of that main line and then connect those down. And then this would all be kind of really darkly colored. It's very black here at the back side of the bill. And then that essentially continues down to the bottom, but it extends a little longer. So this time I'm not gonna use dots. I'm just gonna kind of make a curving line there. And that shows that you know, it's a little thicker and gradually sweeping to the front of the bill with the, the underside dark. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're ready to put the front side of the body on this guy. We're gonna make a nice curve here to do that. So I'm gonna use this point here. I'm gonna use this point now out here for the arch. And I'm gonna make a point kind of right about here near the back of the head. And I'm just gonna kind of bring those all together nicely there. There we go in a nice curve. And for the back side of that, we're going to put a point out here and we'll put a point maybe right down there. And it's a little bit more gradual, not as big of a curve there for the backside. Now to put a wing on this guy, uh, we're gonna make a folded wing. We're gonna use this point here uh, for the uh, origin point. We're gonna put a point maybe right about here for the curve. And then we're gonna make another point. Uh, we'll put a point right there. So there we go, just right on the back side. So from the back side here, we're basically kind of making a nice sweeping curve, connecting all those points to get this sort of, almost like we're drawing an upside down teardrop shape. If you look at that, like a teardrop upside down. Now to draw some detail feathers on this wing, it's gonna be super easy because we've all drawn waves before on the ocean. And that's just sort of like this sort of a motion like that. Or maybe you look at it like snake scales or fish scales that you're drawing. So I've got a couple of those there, a, a nice row of those for the feathers. And then I'm gonna repeat that, this time offsetting those uh, scale shapes or waves. And there we go, we've got a nice second row there. Now to draw some longer feathers, these are the feathers that are at the ends of the bird's wings that are used for steering. Longer feathers help them kind of uh, steer really nicely. So we're gonna make points that basically connect these top points to this end point here. And there we've got our nice uh, wing coming together. So that looks pretty good. Now we've got the Toko Toucan overall looking uh, most of his anatomy here. We've got to put a tail and some feet on this guy, but we're going to go back to the head here and we're going to make this sort of, most of the Toucan is black and white overall in his body, except for this part of the eye. And then as we talked about the bill. So we're going to make a curve line that sort of goes kind of like, basically it's almost like an S curve. We're going to sort of start over here. We're going to curve out and then sweep it back like that. So that's an S curve, a little harder to, to, to do, but basically it sort of goes up and down like that. And that would allow all this area to be white here. And then we can put in this, if we were hatching this in, this backside of the head here would be very dark. Again, the rest of the body would all be dark down here. This would, the feathers would actually all be dark as well. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and put on some tail feathers here. To do that now, we got these two dots that remain open. Let's go ahead and connect those two nicely. And then from there, we're going to put a straight line over here. Uh, that's going to come off of this dot here. We've got two dots, straight line to connect those. Uh, they have a uh, sort of short tail feathers here. So that'll give us just plenty of room to get a tail feather in. We're gonna put another dot maybe over here and this time connect from that other dot. 
And now we've got two dots here that are gonna be need to be put together. We're just gonna put a dot out here for the curve. We're gonna round these off nicely. And it's gonna give us our tail feather. Now I'm just making two straight lines, two straightish diagonal lines uh, in the interior there to give us a little more detail of those tail feathers. All right, so this is again also be black. So if you're cross hatching all this in, you know, again, all this part of the body would be black. Uh, you could cross hatch those in. Now we're just gonna put a foot on this guy. And to do that, we're going to put a dot maybe right about here on the bottom and another dot right about there. Uh, so that's pretty good. We've got two dots there. Um, this is actually uh, going to be what we're going to extend off two little lines that are going to be the top of the foot. So I'm going to put another dot over here. And the first uh, original dot that we created, I'm just going to connect that one. And then the last dot that we left off, I'm going to add another dot there and then just extend that down. And that's going to be the foot, uh, top of the foot. Now we're just going to round that off or you can connect it. Uh, I'm not going to put a dot there because it's kind of a short distance. So there we've got the top of the foot. And now I'm going to just extend this up a little bit because this leg would actually kind of come off of there. And if you got your handy eraser here, if you're using pencil like I am, you can erase that inner line, you know, and then this would all be, you know, black as well uh, as we've got the rest of the bird here sort of coming together. Now that's the top of the leg. To do the bottom of the leg, we're just basically kind of repeating those straight lines that we did, one on the front, just tucking them in slightly there. So there's two more straight lines coming down there for the uh, bottom of the foot. Now this bird, as we do the toes, we're gonna talk just briefly here about, they have a toe arrangement called zygodactyl. And what that basically means is they have two toes in the front and two in the back. So to do that, we're going to start at the bottom of this uh, front of the foot, put another line over here and just connect those in a straight line. Uh, that's gonna be one of our toes. Now we're just gonna round it off at the front. Just, I'm kind of making almost like a letter C or just curving it uh, and then giving it a little bit of a rounded tip to the toe. Now I'll put a dot at that point uh, where I just did that underside of that curve. And this time I'm gonna extend it past the back of the, the leg here and just draw a nice straight line there. So that's gonna be one of the toes, the, one of the front toes. And now since we extended that back, we're working on now what's gonna be the back toe, one of the back toes there. So we'll just do again, reverse that, make another little, we're just timing the C going the other way or curve it uh, and just make a nice curved tip. And then you could draw a straight line to connect those two back. Now they have another toe that would be just right behind this one in the front to be a little longer here. So this time I'm just gonna kind of mirror exactly what I did before. Some of it's overlap, so you may not see it all. And there we go, we've got that, that second toe in the front there coming off. And I'll just repeat it again, one for the back as well. And there we go, we've got uh, nice two toes in the front, two toes in the back. I'll put uh, maybe some nails on these or little claws there, talons. Just a little bit of extra ability to grab onto the branches of the trees when it holds onto or to grab a piece of fruit as it moves it to the beak. So there we go, we've got our, our nice uh, lower foot. We're gonna just repeat this now, put a second one. We're gonna offset it slightly, but we're basically mirroring exactly what we did here. So you'll see here, I'm just kind of bringing down two straight lines, curving a line for the diagonal there. And then those two shorter straight lines for the lower part of the leg. Uh, this time, this toe is gonna be a little longer on this side because they have a longer toe on the inside. And again, I'm repeating it to the back, curving it and putting that back. And then I'm going to, since this toe is longer here, we really wouldn't see that other one too well, but we'll just make a nice, bit of a second toe behind that and a second toe behind this other one. And I'll put on my little nails there. So there we go, we've got, uh, and then if I wanted to color that in, again, all this Toco Toucan, if we were coloring later, this would all be black. And this part would be white. And again, we'd have this sort of orange or patch up here along with the blue around the eye. And then again, this would be a nice orange uh, bill as well. So there you go, we've got our Toco Toucan completed. We'd love to see how your drawing turned out. You can share that with us by using the hashtag Minty Sketch. Uh, post it anywhere online using that hashtag. We'll check it out. We'd look forward to seeing your drawings. We'd love to comment on them. And again, we hope to see you back here in another future episode of How to Draw Awesome Animals with your friends at Peppermint Narwhal.